Hello, I'm Peter from AstronomyDrawings.com. The servo cat is, of course, a fantastic means to motorise your Dobsonian telescope, but it is not problem free. And even if your telescope has a very smooth movement, for example, this binoscope, I can push with one finger, and still it may happen that after a while, your servo cat azimuth drive gets stuck or even starts eating your ground board. And when that happens, when well, then you're in for a lot of trouble because from there on, it can only get worse. It may damage the belt of your azimuth gearbox or it may even destroy your motor. So now I'm going to show you how to transform your servo cat azimuth drive into a belt drive. And I hope that you'll find it interesting and perhaps even useful. So what do we need? Well, first of all, we need, of course, a timing belt, MXL type, uh, and I've opted for 10 millimeters to be sufficiently large and strong. Then we need a couple of clamps to uh, connect both ends of the timing belt so we can cut it at exactly the desired length and then connect both ends. Then we need a pulley wheel for the timing belt with a bore of half an inch so it will fit exactly in uh, around the shaft of your uh, servo cat drive and then an ordinary bolt and a nut with a couple of washers so we can secure the uh, servo cat motor to the rocker box and that's it So the first thing we have to do is to remove the old servo cat wheel and for this we need a small allen wrench. So now we are going to take the motor of the azimuth drive and we're going to make a hole here in the ground plate and we are going to make this hole all the way through uh, the rocker box so we can secure this motor with both the original uh, bolt and the new the new one here because it's essential that this um, motor sits as tight as possible and that it ca cannot move in any direction there so I've secured the motor at the bottom of the rocker box and it is not going anywhere anymore it will not move in any direction that's exactly what we want and now with uh, the small allen key we are going to secure the uh, pulley wheel on the shaft of the servo cat just like this so we've measured the exact length of the belt and uh, we've cut it to the right length and uh, put the, the two pieces together with these clamps so it will sit tight. And now all we have to do is put the belt around the ground board and the wheel on the other side. Another thing that I've done is I've taken the original wheel of the servo cat and I've made a nice cut in it and I'm using this as a tensor for the um, the belt so it sits very very tight around the main pulley wheel and this is the result nice isn't it The disadvantage of this system is that you will not be able to turn 360 degrees anymore because you'll get stuck where there's now the joint between the two ends of the belt. But I've got a house behind me so I don't mind. Now this is very important. We are going to make some uh, adjustments to the servo cat programming because with the belt drive the servo cat will turn in the opposite direction. And for this you need to install this software which came with your servo cat, uh, put it on a laptop and then connect your laptop to the servo cat through USB. This last step is very important because with the belt drive your telescope will turn in the opposite direction. 
So as in my case, if your track and go to direction is plus one originally, you have to ch change this into minus one. So your telescope will turn in the opposite direction and then transfer these data to your servo cat. Then you might also need to change the uh, track speed because with the new wheel for your belt drive, it may be that your telescope tracks at a slightly different speed. So you have to use the procedure as described in the servo cat manual to adjust your speed. And that's it. You're set to go. Look how smoothly she goes now. So I hope that the solution can be useful for you as well. Hope to see you next time for another video. Bye.